probability of an event which is less than or equal to 1. Okay? What does that mean? That if you ever compute a probability that's negative, you are what? Wrong. If you ever compute a probability that is greater than 1, you are what? Wrong. Probabilities are always between 0 and what? 1. And that's inclusive. Do you guys know why? Do you guys know why? Do you want to know why? Do you guys want to know why or you don't want to know why? Okay. Tell me if you agree with the statement. Is this true? Is that statement true? <laughs> what does that statement mean? If you count the number of outcomes in an event, at the smallest, could it be zero? Well, we'll talk about that. This is known as the empty set. We'll, get, we'll talk about that next week. But the answer is yes. At the largest, can't you take a sample, uh, an event, to be the whole sample space? The answer is yes. So, this relationship is true, and if now I divide everything here by n of s, do you guys know what happens? What's 0 divided by any number? Isn't this 0? What's any number divided by itself? Isn't this 1? What is n of e over n of s? Isn't that the definition of what? The probability of an event. You guys have that too, right here. So what I just demonstrated to you, or proved to you, was that probabilities live between the value of 0 and the value of 1. Okay? You guys okay with that? Here's the definition. We say an event E is certain if the probability of the event equals 1. Okay? So if you compute a probability and the value is exactly 1, not approximately, exactly 1, well then we say that the event is certain to happen. Another definition. We say an event E is impossible if the probability of that event is what? Zero. In other words, if you compute a probability and that probability is zero, then what do you know about that event? The event is what? Impossible. We're going to see some examples of this next time. Okay, so I want to let you guys know now, give you this foundation. Um, more facts. If anybody ever see a yes? Say that again. Okay, so, okay, you're looking at you're looking at this? Yeah. And you think this should be what? If it equals zero? You can't be zero right? No. I'm saying if the probability of an event does equal zero, then you say that the event is impossible. The event itself. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. The probability values can be between 0 and 1, including 0 and 1, because it's involving equal. But when you compute a probability, a probability that has a value 0, 
then the event is impossible. Let me give you an example. How about we do that? You guys want to see an example now? Okay. A bag of marbles. My favorite things. I, I once toyed with the idea of writing a probability book from the perspective of just simply a bag of marbles. Because I claim that you can learn everything you need to know about probability from a bag of marbles, ironically. <laughs> that sound nuts? Not really. It's true. Okay. So let's say the bag has three yellow marbles, two green, and one blue. And they say, ah, what's the probability? Electing a green marble. So you use your definition. Can you tell me what the definition is? The probability that you select a what? Green marble is n of g, the number of green marbles, divided by the total number of possible marbles. How many marbles are green in this bag? Two. How many marbles are in the bag? Six. So the probability is one third. You guys with me on that? You guys okay with that? So look at this question. What's the probability of selecting A white marble. So probably I'm selecting a white marble. P of W is N of W over N of S. Tell me. The G subset consists of two what? Green marbles, is that true? How do you know it consists of two green marbles? How do you know that? How do you guys know that? It says two green, is that right? You guys with me that? I count one, two out of three, four, five, six. Oh, two over six, one third. You okay with that? Now what about this list of white marbles? We're going to go now to the information. We're going to try to count our list of white marbles. There is, there's none. Look at that. What is that? What is that a picture of? What's, what, you guys know what this is called? What was that? What was that? Or what is the symbol? Let's go back to 125. What's that symbol? It's the empty set symbol. Empty set. Isn't this a picture of a set that is empty? Why do they associate with no solution? This is why. Some of you guys say no solution. You want to know why you associate with that? Because if you were to solve a problem, list a solution set. If your solution set looks like this, that's another way of saying no solution. Okay. Stop. Do you have another tape? Okay. So 